Hello and welcome to this Factorio tutorial. My name's Negative Root and thank you very much for coming along. And we're going to talk about the Inserter Stack Bonus and why it is a very, very good idea. Now, I've got a very, very easy, quick comparison right now. I've got um, 100 steel in both of these two smart chests. Now, you'll notice that one has direct insertion. So it goes direct from the chest into the assembler into the um, second assembler which is going to make uh, just our normal slow belts and then into our storage chest. This one however you'll notice uh, has, uh, well actually I'll make the uh, problem even worse. We'll just do this like this and we'll come down here like this and we'll throw down that bad boy there, put that hundred back in and now that like that. So, right, now when I power this up by placing a thing down, we're going to see how long it takes for each thing to do its uh, thing, for each uh, factory should I say. Now I have the inserter stack bonus 3, so at a time I believe each inserter can pick up 3 items. So let's start it going, oh shit. Well, that's backfired, hasn't it? We'll pick that up for the moment. <laughs> and we'll just uh, stop it all from working. Because that um, has just ruined the test. So we need 100. There. Okay. So that's all preloaded. So that's fine. Right. We'll, uh, we'll just grab that. Grab all of them. Oops. Okay. So that's preloading that. That's fine. Right. Let's try again, and we'll see how long it takes for each thing to build. Now, you'll notice that, firstly, the, the chain is shorter between these two things. So that is very, very good. Now, so that's it. See straight away, that's at 34, this is at 30. Now, I can make this problem even worse by putting this onto a belt. Right now, it's actually qu going quite quickly because it's direct inserting into the chest. Now, the bigger and the more complicated these builds get, you see that this is at 12, that's still at 20. Okay, and that's complete. That's complete. You see this still has, you know, half a dozen to go. So there is a quick demonstration of why the inserter stack bonus is a pretty powerful thing. You see that this thing's still going. Now that, you know, that 15 seconds isn't much when you're building something like this but when it comes down to things like green circuits red, red circuits um, the processing units the modules th this you know just it just catches up on itself and it just increases the problem even even further so where you can you want to try and get this kind of inserter chain happening now the most ideal designs are factory your output into a box into the next factory that's how everything should basically go because this becomes buffer storage okay it prevents overproduction and makes sure that you you can kind of even out your supply easiest way of doing things is to control the output so say say right this is our I don't know green circuits right you want to control the output to whatever you want, say if you want a thousand of them, okay, that becomes buffer storage now. You can change this into a passive provider, this will still run off it, so if you, for example, making, I don't know, something like um, inserters, okay, it'll still run off that, it'll be in the system, and it'll also kind of, it'll even out the, the ups and downs that are in, is in um, normal production. And in this way, you can take advantage of that inserter stack bonus that we're uh, we're talking about. So, there's some thoughts for you. Go out and try them. Uh, it is the a very, very powerful tool that you need to include in your factories. Without it, you're going to struggle. Uh, I've been some of the fixits that I've been doing lately haven't had uh, the whole um, insert a stack thing going on, which has made things very, very hard. So there you go. Pro tip for you. Go go forth and build shit and blow up biters. I've been Negative Root. See ya.